England coastline took another beating in the latest rainstorm. Properties just on shore need major repairs after the high tide washed away huge stretches of the beach. Tonight, WBZ's Tammy Mutasa takes us to Salisbury, where families are surveying the damage. Tonight, the damage is just devastating. These coastal communities are left cleaning up because water and wind have been a big problem. And now they're facing another storm. Stunning images from the sky showing a battered seacoast from astronomical high tide. Raging waves wreaked havoc, leaving at least 20 homes damaged, some with decks ripped right from them. There used to be a set of steps over that way about 15 feet. Uh, that went down to the beach. Gone. On the ground, Jeff's beach house doesn't have stairs anymore. The powerful water took them, along with 40 feet of his backyard. His neighbor's triple story deck collapsed into a stack of wood. Luckily, no one was home. It's devastating. We went through a lot here. Several homes, several homes. Sad situation we went through. In the town, debris and sea foam littered the streets. Tidal flooding hit a restaurant and flattened massive sand dunes that had been piled up on the beach from a back to back storm. The storm was so severe that it blew the dunes out and it also blew two doors off this building. Now, the precious commodity the town desperately needs is more sand to protect homes. The whole town leadership is just crossing their fingers, trying to hope to God, you know, that the governor and DCR and the senators can somehow find a way to help us. Neighbors say another way to help? Put up a barrier, what they've been talking about for the five past years and have failed. With another round of snow, sleet, and rain hours away, officials are grappling with a cleanup effort while bracing for another blow. We get another hit like that, and they're going to be in big trouble. But people are very, very concerned. We got a whole winter to go through. Even if the town prepares, they all know Mother Nature always has the upper hand. Scary. Very scary. Officials say if your home was damaged in the storm, you can call the Salisbury Emergency Management for help. In Salisbury, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News.